YouTube. Today we will be removing and inspecting the catalytic converter on this 97 Honda Civic. It is throwing error code P0420. It's basically amounts to the catalytic converter if none of the O2 sensors are reporting as well. We are going to remove it and inspect, make sure that everything is still intact and if it's not, we will be replacing it as well. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's start by removing the upper O2 sensor. And for this car, there's a clip at the bottom that you'll have to reach under and press it. Once we have the O2 sensor out of the way, we can take off this top cover with a 12 millimeter socket. Now that the cover's off, we can remove the nine 12 millimeter nuts that are on the front of the engine. Once you've removed those nine nuts, we can go ahead and move to the bottom of the car. On the bottom of the car, we're going to go ahead and remove the front exhaust pipe. The part connected to the catalytic converter only has three bolts. Remove the two bolts toward the middle of the front exhaust pipe. Remove the two bolts connecting to the other half of the exhaust pipe. Once the front exhaust pipe is off, you should have access to the last bolt holding the catalytic converter up. At this point, the catalytic converter is free. Once the catalytic converter is out, we're, we can go ahead and remove the O2 sensors. For this Honda, it's going to be a 22 millimeter wrench. Once you've taken out the two O2 sensors, you can go ahead and shine a flashlight. A, a really bright flashlight through the holes and look through the other hole and see if you could see the light on the other end. It's going to be a little hard to see if you don't have one very bright like this one's a 63 lumen so this one here is not clogged. I'm going to shine the light in through the back so you guys can see what it's going to look like. It's very dim though so bear with me. You can see that you can see through most of the holes. It's a little hard to see on the video, but you can see through most of the holes, which means this catalytic converter is still good. But I did find the other problem, another problem, and I have a crack right where the O2 sensor goes. So I'm, I'm either gonna have to get it welded, or I'm gonna have to get the whole thing replaced. So once you're done, you figured out your problem, if it was a catalytic converter or not, or whatever the deal was, since you took the catalytic converter off, you have to replace this gasket that goes on the engine to the exhaust. So this needs to be replaced and so do the nuts that you took off from the engine side. Why the nuts? I don't know, but that's what the service manual says. So just go ahead and replace those two and you should be good to go. All right guys, thanks for watching. When you put everything back together, just do everything in reverse order. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.